So welcome back. It's September the 26th. It's not the summer where I can just forget about my setup here with solar and battery storage and just leave it to do its thing. But it's not yet winter either. <laughs> so what do you do? Do you charge up your storage batteries overnight or do you wait for the solar? That is the dilemma. And in layman's terms, I'm going to explain my thinking in the next few minutes. So the great thing about solar and storage batteries is obviously you can store the energy that you've made in the day and use it at night. So through the night my base load is covered and that's the fish tank, the heated tower rail, all the devices that are switched on through the night charging stuff, the fridge freezer of course, that's called base load and the stored energy will cover that. Now, as we get into winter, we have less and less solar. So less and less ability to fill these with solar energy. So that's where a hybrid inverter comes into its own, in as much that I can set the hybrid inverter to charge my pylon tech on the cheap rate overnight tariff electricity. I'm with Octopus Go, so from half 12 to half five, I pay just eight pence. And I can fill these in the winter and then use that energy through the day. Brilliant. But we're in that crossover period. We're neither in summer and we're not in winter. So what I don't want to do is fill these on cheap grid electricity and have no room the next morning for any solar that might appear. Um, no room in the batteries because I filled them with grid electricity. So this autumn time and also the spring time is sort of my geeky dilemma which is when I'm scratching my head, looking at the forecast, trying to figure out what to do with the inverter. So at the moment, I've got the, ins the inverter set to charge these at the very minimum rate between half 12 and half five in the morning. So on this uh, Solis hybrid inverter, we go enter and we go down to advanced set. And then we input the passcode and then I go up to storage energy set and storage mode select uh, optimal income just keep entering that and they've got optimal income stop or run that means it can start pulling off the grid and I've set the charge rate to 9.9 .9 amps which is next to nothing and it's going to charge between half 12 and half five. So the minute it's stopped, if I want to go to run, I then press up and it goes to run and then go escape and it's done. So tomorrow's weather's looking good. So I do not want the hybrid inverter to charge the batteries tonight. So I just go enter. I want advanced set, put the password in and go up to storage energy set, storage mode select, optimal income and I want to, I don't want to run, I want to go to stop and then enter, uh, rather escape and that's it, the inverter is turned off from charging tonight. In normal circumstances if I had a full battery then and I went to charge my EVs, I would drain these batteries that would all go into the EV and I'll have nothing for the next morning. So what I want to do is hold back discharging these but fill the EV just on Octopus Go tariff cheap electricity. I want to leave these full so the next morning I can run the house and the base load off the free electricity or the very cheap electricity I've had through the night. So constantly looking at the weather forecast is something I've always liked to do. But this time of year, I'm changing the setup on my hybrid inverter perhaps every, every night because I'm looking at the app for the next day, a weather app, to see what the weather's going to be like. I can foresee in the future this type of thinking being automated where we could possibly tie in the technology of uh, weather forecasts, which are getting really accurate now, to perhaps to communicate with home hybrid inverters 
and then to basically program them to fill your uh, storage batteries or not fill them depending on what the weather's going to be like the next day. But for now, it's relying on my geekiness to constantly look at apps to see what the weather's doing. Anyway, hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.